Your lymphatic system is incredibly important for your overall health. It plays a major role with your immune system to help fight off any diseases or illnesses. And so if your lymphatic system is backed up or clogged or not working properly, that's going to cause a dysfunction and that can make it really challenging for your body to fight off any illnesses or viruses. My name is Kelly. I'm a physical therapist as well as a certified lymphedema therapist. So I specialize in the lymphatic system. And today in this video, I'm going to show how to do a three to five minute morning routine to help stimulate the lymphatic system with lymphatic drainage. Now, before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram and you can check out our website for more resources on lymphatic health. Now, if you would like a handout to follow along with that has different pictures and diagrams, you can find one on my website at cancerrehabpt.com and you can put it up as a cheat sheet to have each morning when you do your lymphatic drainage. I'll put a link for that up above or you can check it out in the description box down below. So we're gonna go through step-by-step step here, make sure that you're using a clean hand. You also wanna make sure that you're trying to use as much surface area of your hand as possible rather than just your fingertips so we can really get to all of the lymphatic vessels and lymphatic nodes. So the first thing we wanna do is to stimulate the lymphatic nodes in the body. This is where all of the bacteria and illness and debris is going to be filtered out before this fluid moves back to the heart. And so by doing that, we want to just stimulate the lymph nodes by using the hand. So you have lymph nodes that are around the armpit and then head and neck area. And so we're gonna start with just the armpit, putting our hand directly in that armpit. And we're gonna do eight to 10 gentle circles in that area. A lot of fluid from the head and neck area and just this upper body have to go through this region. So you just wanna make sure that we're stimulating them. So same thing on the other side, eight to 10 circles. And it is best to go directly on the skin when you can. And then the next thing you wanna do is we're gonna stimulate the lymph nodes in the head and neck area, especially if you feel sick, have a cold coming on. These are the ones that you're gonna notice the most that are swollen. And so we have lymph nodes that sit kind of under that jaw, and then we have them actually right below the ear and then right above the collarbone or on the side of the neck. And so I'm gonna put my hand right above that collarbone and we're gonna do nice gentle circles at the base of the neck. We're gonna do about eight to 10. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, eight to 10. Nice and gentle, you don't have to press hard. They sit right under the skin. And then we're gonna stimulate the lymph nodes that are below the ear. So I like to use my fingers, kind of split them in two, put on either side of the ear, and then using your whole hand, do nice gentle circles. About eight to 10 times. And then same thing on the other side. To speed it up, you can do both sides at the same time, whatever is preferred. I am wrapping my other fingers around to the back of the neck because there are some lymph nodes back there as well. And then we're also gonna just stimulate just right below the jaw there, a couple circles where those lymph nodes are, especially if you feel like those are swollen, those are good to do. So after we've done eight to 10 on all of those areas, now we're gonna try to move that fluid out. And so we have all of the lymph vessels guide from the middle of our face out to the side where these lymph nodes are below our ears and then they actually go down the side of the neck to these lymph nodes before they go back to the heart and so we're just going to guide it through so starting at the base of the ear we're going to just gently massage downwards down the side of the neck and using as much of your hand as possible don't press hard and we're going to do about five times just guiding down. It should be more of just a skin stretch. You're not pressing deep. You should just feel like you're stretching your skin gently and that will help stimulate the fluid. And same thing on the other side, down the side of the neck, nice and gentle. Doing about five times. You can make sure you're wrapping the fingers around the back of the neck too. Good. 
And then we're gonna go the lymph vessels in the front and the face. And so starting at the middle, right under the jaw, we're gonna guide the fluid outwards towards the sides where the lymph nodes are. We, we don't wanna go straight down because there's no way the vessels go in that direction. They actually go out to the side and down. And so we wanna guide them in that same direction. Same thing, we're gonna do gentle strokes with the massage outwards. If someone feels swollen, they can spend more time here. Otherwise, about five times, eight if you want, should be plenty. Making sure we're doing both sides. And then from there, for some people that might be enough and they'll finish here. Otherwise, if you feel like you have congestion and swelling throughout the rest of your face, we can work through the rest of the face too. So we're still thinking about the line down the middle of the body, guiding from the um, inner part of the face outwards towards those lymph nodes, everything in that direction. And so you can start with the lower face. And then you can kind of work underneath the eyes. Spending as much time as you'd like, or about five times if you're going quick. And then you can also do above on the forehead as well. So I'm gonna speed that up. You can go through each section as you'd like. Everything guiding outwards to here. And once you've done that, then what we're gonna do is do one more time down the side of the neck to move all that fluid from the face all the way out of the head and neck area. Same thing on the other side. All the way down. And the last thing we'll do is just one more time, just stimulate nice and low down by the clavicle or the collarbone, a few circles on each side. And that's it. Another way to add with this is to do nice deep breathing. You can do some belly breaths throughout the day. That'll help stimulate the lymph nodes that are deep in the abdomen and the chest because all of this fluid then goes back to the heart through that area. So that's another piece someone can add. Again, if you're looking for a handout, you can find one on my website that you can have in front of you with direction and diagrams and photos to follow along with for each morning. But other than that, I hope you all found this video helpful and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.